Slide in, I slide out. Yo, hold up, hold up. He killed that hoe. Ooh, beginner baking? Hey, don't you love the TSA? Wait, what do you mean you don't? The TSA protects us from threats. Wait, what do you mean that every single investigation into the TSA's efficacy shows that they basically let through everything? What do you mean that one particular study in 2017 showed that they let through 95% of all weapons? Okay, but they prevent larger attacks. Wait, what do you mean that there's absolutely no evidence that this is the case? Well, the TSA can't hurt. Hey, what do you mean that one study showed that they actually cause more deaths in the form of auto accidents because people are hurrying to get to the airport? Wait, and you go on to say that the TSA regularly invades people's privacy, steals their luggage and data, and abuses people? Well, okay, you've convinced me. The TSA is security theater that does much more harm than good. Hey, what about police? The police are just like the TSA, except they get to do human rights abuses and kill people. Hey, what do you mean the police are different because of some arbitrary metric that you made up? Um, what, what is, what is that? Fact is, Walter White couldn't have done it without me. I was indispensable. I kept Walter White out of jail. What's wrong? What is it? How oh, I love being a woman. True that I saw her hair like the branch of a tree. Willow dancing on air before covering me. Here are my green flag books. If I see you recommend any of these, you may just gain my trust. I know this appeals to a very specific sort of person, and if that's you, we would probably get along. Honestly, any of their books, but this one impacted me in a really big way. If you don't like this book, I will never trust you again. Obviously. Obviously. This or any of his books. This made me fall in love with adult fantasy books all over again. We probably have at least some shared trauma. We probably have at least some shared trauma. Honestly, I don't even think this book is that well written. But if I see you talking about it, I know there's a fair chance that we followed each other on Tumblr back in the day. What are your green flag books? Okay, pastry review time. Let's check it out. There's a good chance that your favorite movie was designed to inspire military enrollment. Marvel movies have a trend of being filled to the brim with militaristic propaganda. Take Captain Marvel. That movie was a two hour long Air Force recruitment video. But studios do this to save money. Film Lyson offices are recruitment operations within the Department of Defense whose purposes are to fund movie projects with insanely lucrative deals on government equipment and resources. In return, the Department of Defense has final approval over what the script looks like. This means that the DOD can cut scenes that they don't like, such as any statement that criticizes the government. This is obviously predatory propagandistic bullshit, especially given that these are children's movies, and it's an excellent example of the government favoring one form of speech over another, which doesn't fall in line with the First Amendment. Are they not even gonna fucking cook the pastry? What am I even doing this for? Let's not do what I did in that video, and I'm gonna tell you why. I seen a video of a creator talking about it last night, and that's why I wanna speak about it. Cause I didn't know, and I used that audio fairly recently, as you've seen from the clip I shown, which I am going to be leaving up for awareness. But I digress, I'm saying you shouldn't use that audio if you're not black. And that's because this song is about being black in the punk scene. The singer was a biracial woman speaking out against predominantly white men in the scene, calling her a poser. And they called her a poser because she was biracial. So you can see how it's kind of bad if somebody who's not black is using the sound. Feel free to listen to the song, obviously. But you shouldn't just be using the sound to show how alternative you are or whatever. Like I said, you shouldn't be using it at all if you're not black. Because it is contradictory to the actual meaning of the song. But you should definitely go and listen to it. And support black artists. Especially since they're treated super unfairly in these industries. So promote black creators using the sound. Go listen to it. And just support black artists in general. We decolonized Thanksgiving the same way we decolonized Columbus Day. Can we rename Thanksgiving to Tribal Nations Day? A day where you can still have a dinner with your family, you could still be grateful, but include one of these things. I put this soda up, I put this soda up, and I jump them, jump them, cause I don't care. I don't, I don't care, 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 care. Who 
are the Chappaquiddick Wampanoag? We are a historical Massachusetts tribe from Noah Bay. You may know it better as Martha's Vineyard. Our ancestral homelands include Chappaquiddick Island, Cape Pogue, and Muskegon Island. We're also a tribe of first contact. We were some of the first impacted by colonization. Despite it all, we still meet annually on Chappaquiddick Island, and our tribal members who reside on the Web Bay still fish in our ancestral waters. You might be wondering what we've been up to this past year. With your help, we've been able to raise over $60,000 that have gone towards our operating costs and our ultimate goal of reclaiming land. We had a tribal member featured in an exhibition opening on Nuepe. We were also fortunate enough to receive aid from two COVID-related grants that allowed us to host several wellness workshops throughout the year. Overall, we saw huge growth in participation in our tribe intergenerationally. We look forward to continuing to share our journey with you and appreciate all of the support along the way. Kutapatanamu, thank you all for sharing and community with us. by no means a get out of jail free card. I've seen station houses with supporting brothers in blue and I've seen station houses that have a cab tagged on their house and they for some reason haven't been able to clean it off. It's 50-50 at this point. But I remember one time I was getting out of my car at a Walmart parking lot and I see this older couple, had to be 70 years old at least, and they see my firefighter plates and they're like, hey, are you, are you a firefighter? And I was like, no, I'm not. My grandfather was, I've had friends are. It's just, I prefer showing support for fire department. And he's like, no, we, I feel the love. I appreciate it. I was a firefighter for years. Just remember, fuck cops, trust a firefighter. I was like, yes, sir, all cops are bastards. And the wife looks at me and goes, damn straight. We've known that for years. I'm glad everybody else is catching on. And they just walk off. And I'm like, I look at their car. And it's got, remember, firefighters save lives. Cops take them. So I wanted to talk about this video. I had to turn the comments off on both TikTok and Instagram. I was literally getting harassed and it turned into this whole racial thing about black women's hair. How it's dirty, we should straighten it because it's messy, that our hair is not even real, it's not sanitary. I literally started getting harassed so I turned the comments off and deleted the video from Instagram and then people started DMing me harassing me. I've literally been told to straighten my hair, to make my hair smaller. I've been told a lot of things of what to do with my hair. This is my hair. It's not going anywhere. I'm never gonna straighten it for someone. I don't even own a straightener. There's so many things we can do with our hair. We can do a wig, braid, twists, all these fun styles that honestly don't need to involve applying heat to our hair if we don't want to. I literally took a break from social media because I was getting harassed. And now I'm back because I missed you guys. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. What are your thoughts? Ben Shapiro just tweeted something super fruity, so I thought I'd do a little dramatic reading of it. There's a hard truth I discovered as a teen, but the woke left will never admit. Disney has forced gay thoughts into the minds of young men for decades. They shove visions of bare-chested hunks down your throat to inspire homoerotic fantasy and tease forbidden sexual awakenings. This is Disney's gay agenda stripped bare. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. A lot of times people think I'm faking being deaf because I can speak so well, but when I say I have hearing aids, they hit me back with, how do we know they're not fake? It's not like I went to the audiologist and spent $3,000 on hearing aids because I'm so quirky. So, for the people assuming they're fake, let me tell you how they work. My hearing aids are a cross system, which means it transfers sound from the right side to the left side. Why I have a cross system specifically is because I can't hear in my right ear and I'm hard of hearing in my left ear. But you really need to be speaking directly into my hearing aids for me to be able to hear you because it's like a microphone and I can't hear that good with them. Most of the time I hear static and not the actual words or sounds, so it is kind of annoying. But they do have Bluetooth so I can connect my phone and hearing aids together. You already know. Red for right, blue for left. Half your professor forbids laptops.
I love this clip so much. I laughed so hard when I first saw it, like at 2 a.m. Listen, uh, in academic Twitter land, uh, it's been a cyclical thing for many years with professors debating whether or not they should ban laptops in the classroom. And I've gotten in trouble on occasion with, at the time, uh, professors, senior to me colleagues, because I was like, what are you doing? You can't ban laptops. You can't ban things. You're not the Pope. And they would respond that all the academic literature says that you learn better if you take notes by hand, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. You don't have that authority. And like, why would you want it? That's so weird. Uh, now I don't care because nobody's senior to me. But the reason why I love this clip is because I'm the kind of professor, you do that to me in my class. And I would be like, okay, gangster, I see you.